Okay, we're going to do a relatively quick highlight video of the Day 3 Tour of America's Dairyland Cat 3-4 field. This course was um, pretty unique. There was 80 plus riders in this field, but the course was pretty specific on how to play this. Basically, this last corner here was down a hill, so everyone's going really fast. And then if you didn't hit it right, um, everyone still just sprinted and, and gunned it right out of that corner. So you can see gaps opening up ahead of Lou here, my teammate. And what that means is that people were kind of really gassed and uh, out of that corner and becomes problematic for saving your energy, right? So, um, you know, also right outside of this corner, you really got to be right on a wheel because you're going to hit the headwind cross headwind basically and need to be in someone's draft. The other unique feature of this course was that this hill came up. So if, if you could just not break and you can just kind of continue to hold your momentum into these corners, um, it was really important to keep your speed into this corner so that you could hit that hill pretty hard. So after you hit that final corner, people would gas it and then it would eventually ease up here into the finish line and if you could move around people uh, this gets really close right there for that guy but if you can move around people there um, you can move up a lot of positions when everyone used up now there's a decent amount of pedal clips here um, into this corner uh, this last corner you also see um, later on how that impacts the last uh, lap here but that also opens up gaps that I have to close down and you know this whole home, home stretch was basically pretty problematic with closing down gaps so the other thing about this corner I, I liked the inside line because as you can see in the upper left here there's gonna be a lot of pinching on the outside there's almost a crash here um, but if you go inside you can kinda keep a lot of your momentum st too um, so that was important now you can see here it's gonna bunch up and I ease up but the guy on the right here in the blue jersey he moves up when it bunches up and I should be following his wheel I should be moving around the bunch up keeping you know keeping the idea that you need to move up positions every single time you can so now we're in the final lap final corner and you can see i'm already way too far back i think i had just been a little bit more gas than i than i wanted to be and there is a pedal clip from the race leader in this corner and then it causes a bunch of chaos behind including this crash right in front of us it was a bit of a minefield uh i didn't really have to hit any brakes i think i just continued to fly through it but that was a bit of a a wild ending to this race and then the sprint I just pick off a couple guys here so again the lessons learned from this race again it's an 80 plus field it's a difficult course it wasn't necessarily my forte but um, I did learn a thing or two here and I really just needed to make sure I was up there instead of just tail gunning or, or staying you know too far back in the field because that was really problematic this race and you're gonna see how that plays out in the rest of the races so thanks for watching